Welcome back for another episode of the Grayling Art Tour, hosted by me, Anna Tomlinson, a 12-year-old homeschooled student here in Grayling. I just finished eating at Dawson and Stevens 50s Diner, and when I got into the car, the Zac Brown Band came on the radio. You may not know this, but a little piece of Grayling went into making this song. The Zac Brown Band has won multiple Grammy Awards, and two of its guitarists, Coy Bowles and Clay Cook, both use custom guitar picks that are made right here in Grayling, Michigan. Fred Kelly Picks is a small family-owned business located just east of town off North Down River Road. Fred started making picks in 1976, but the business really didn't start thriving until 1994. And Merle Travis was the guitarist back then that played fingerstyle and he played like the piano. He played the bass and he played the melody with his fingers. When John Henry and, and I was wondering how he did that because it sounded like a whole band. And, uh, and I found out he uses a thumb pick, you know. Of course, I couldn't find a thumb pick that suited me, so I made my own. And I took a piece of metal and wrapped around this plastic to hold that shape that I had. And I put it in a cup of plaster Paris and, and let it harden and then put it in the oven. And it formed that shape because it melted, you know, and so I had that pick. A strong faith and some signs from above encouraged Fred to turn his hobby into more of a profession. But I was going to call it, the first pick was Flying Eagle pick. I says, Helen, I says, come here. What's that say on that piece of metal? And she says, Eagle approved. <laughs> and so this is how I was encouraged to keep it going through the years. So different times that I was kind of wanting to quit, you know, and, uh, but he always encouraged me to keep going. After his first pick, Fred went on to design picks in a half dozen different styles in more than 25 different varieties, including left-handed thumb picks. The company offers the largest selection of guitar picks in the world, and they can be used to play any stringed instrument. Fred Kelly Picks offers standard flat picks and fat flat picks made of three different materials, nylon, delrin, and poly and also models such as the Bumblebee, Freedom, Slick, and Speed picks. Because that Bumblebee is the pick of the century. I mean, they've been making picks for years, and nobody's ever come up with anything quite like that. I've had other uh, manufacturers look at that, and they just shake their heads. Why didn't I think of that? Two technology-related developments allowed the business to flourish. The first was plastic injection molding, which gave Fred the ability to produce mass quantities of picks by machines in a short period of time, instead of shaping them individually by hand. After the machines produce the picks, some finishing work is needed to complete the picks, such as assembling the two pieces of the bumblebee picks and stamping certain models with the name and logo. The popularity of the internet gave Fred Kelly Picks the opportunity to be seen by customers around the world in the comfort of their homes and through the fredkellypicks.com website. It's great when people call and, and, and tell us about this product that they found that is just like amazing, you know, where do I find them? And In addition to shipping picks across the country, Fred Kelly Picks also distributes globally. All over the world, internationally, um, you know, I mean, Italy, uh, Canada, UK, um, Germany, uh, China. They have also partnered with popular online vendor Amazon, which sells their picks as well. You know, usually people go to Amazon, but they approached us because they've, they've noticed, you know, that our picks in popularity um, and, you know, that was exciting. That's a far cry from the days when Fred and Helen would drive to stores around the country asking them to carry their product. My wife and I, we traveled all over the United States. Went to store to store, whatever we could find. We did a, we took out of here one, 
One day, uh, with a motor home, and we put 5,000 miles on it before we got home. It was really rough. We, uh, we would have to, we went around to all the stores, we would just travel and stop at every store, like just went all over, all the, all the states we stopped at and, and hit all the stores. We'd look up the stores and find them and go there, and, and most, most people would take them. You know, and say, wow, well, we never seen anything like these, so we'll try them. Another thing that helped the popularity was a suggestion from a fellow exhibitor at the National Association of Music Merchants Trade Show in 1995. Somebody told me while I was at the show, well, you, you know, this Chet Atkins convention's going to be next week. You need to be there. And it's been that way every, every year. I go once a year there. And just about everybody there wears my picks. Just having a product doesn't guarantee it's going to sell. There needs to be something that makes it special. Fred was able to identify guitar players' needs and invent a product that allowed both amateur and professional musicians to play their instruments easier, more comfortably, or better. In some instances, it allowed musicians to return to their love of playing music after various conditions had prevented it. I've had people that's gone to the war and have come back and with injured with missing parts of their fingers and stuff and figured that they had to stop playing their instrument, you know, which they loved. And um, they had tried the bumblebee on and they, they were so excited because they were able to angle it, it because it's fully adjustable and it rotates that they were able to angle it and be able to play music just like they had. The quality of the product that Fred Kelly Picks offers can be evidenced by the fact that a number of professional musicians use his products. In addition to the two members of the Zac Brown Band, the list includes the likes of Charlie Daniels, Doyle Dykes, Noki Edwards, Jeff Daniels, Greg Bates, members of Third Eye Blind, the Chris Young Band, and many more. What's next for Fred Kelly Picks? Well, there's one more model that the 85-year-old would like to produce before he finally retires. Well, I, I have another one in mind to, to do. One more, uh, for sure. And if I get a chance to do that, I'd like to design that. And I think that would be the pick of all picks when I get it done. Fred Kelly Picks isn't the only one making music in Grayling. There's a new ensemble community choir that meets in town every Monday. And in our next episode, we visit one of the group's practices. If you've missed a past episode of the Grayling Art Tour, click the link in the bottom corner of your screen to access all of our episodes. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week.